You can leave whenever you want. It's not fair to make contractors stay this long. <laughs> uh... Well, I'll be excusing myself then. I'm truly disappointed. I'm resigning. Me too. Me as well. Whoa, what? Why? Kijima? Oh, Sato. Your company has grown so much. Cheers! Cheers? It's been such a long journey. I'm so glad I put my trust in you all and came this far. We're only just getting started. I'm just so glad that we were finally able to IPO. Let's go, boss. My name is Keiichi Sato. I work as a contractor in the PR department of Doki Doki Group, a mail order company. Uh... Everyone seems so happy. I wasn't sure how things would turn out at one point. Wasn't the listing review really tough? I mean, I heard the rumors, but still. Hiring a specialist was a great decision. I wish he could have been here too. If we had done it ourselves, it definitely would have taken longer, and we might not even have passed the review. Speaking of specialists, I'm really grateful to all of you contractors. Your work in the PR department has been outstanding. Oh, I didn't expect you all to be here. I thought only full-timers would show up. Were we not supposed to come? No, no! I just thought you might find it boring since we'll be reminiscing about the past a lot. You can leave whenever you want. It's not fair to make contractors stay this long. Haha. <laughs> we really struggled for years to get here. I'd like to hear those stories too. Uh... Um, why are we only talking about the company's history? Huh? Oh well. Suga's been working hard since the company was founded 10 years ago. I've been working in sales since the beginning, too. That's exactly the issue. We also contributed to the company getting listed. Right, Sato? Yeah. Especially in these past five years, we worked really hard toward the goal of getting listed. So, we want to be treated the same and be part of the conversation. Oh, of course. Actually, there's something I wanted to say. Could it be? Our company has really benefited from you contractors. Yes, especially the team in PR, like Sato and Suzuki. They've been a great help. Our competitors even envy our PR department. Exactly. So as a company, we'd like you to continue supporting us as contractors. As contractors? Yes, for a maximum of five years. But here's the thing. We're proposing to implement an indefinite contract conversion rule. Some of you could work for us without the need for contract renewal. So you don't have to worry about job stability. We're also considering a slight increase in hourly wages. But not everyone can be included so we'll have to make some choices. Ideally, we'd include everyone, but you understand how the economy is, right? I see. I understand your point. Sato? Yeah. Well, I'll be excusing myself then. I'm truly disappointed. I'm resigning. Me too. Me as well. What? Why? This is a rare opportunity. If you have any complaints, I'll hear them out. We do have complaints. There's a huge disconnect between the us and the founding members. It's obvious. You're drawing a line between us. Ah, uh, well, I mean, we are somewhat aware of that, but it's more like... We're just being considerate, you know? Then why? Why won't you hire us as full-time employees? If you truly value us, that conversation would have come up. Well... Well, that's true, but... Yes, we did consider that, but... Becoming a full-time employee is a huge deal. I believe your main strength is in digital marketing. Honestly, 
were not able to measure how much success you've had in that area, or how much you contributed to this IPO. That's why. We'd prefer to offer full-time contracts to the workers on the ground first. I hope you understand. We'll definitely propose full-time positions in five years. In the end, in the end, it comes back to company history. It's really disappointing. It seems like you can't let go of the idea that you're special. With that mindset, more non-founding employees will eventually leave. P please stop. Don't say such heartless things in front of the president. Why bring this up during a celebration? You're killing the mood. I don't think many other companies give contractors as much autonomy or responsibility as we do. At least not in the companies that I know of. Do you really think so? I believe companies are gradually changing. Do you? From what I hear, they're often assigned different tasks than what they originally signed up for. I see. I understand clearly now. Then I'll go try another company. Excuse me, can I get the rest of the food packed to go? Thank you for everything up until now. What a shame. I never imagined they'd leave, and at a celebration no less. I guess that's how little they felt connected here. You don't need to worry about it. We can just sign on other contractors. Yeah, let's leave that to HR. But what kind of person is strong in digital marketing? Well, let's not worry about it and have a blast today. Let's talk about our dreams. Six months after the IPO, sales didn't increase. It started to slowly but steadily decline. What's going on? We increased the budget, hired more staff, and expanded our product line. We've received numerous positive reviews, and we're still running the commercials. Yet sales keep dropping. What could be causing this? The only thing I can think of is... That Sato and the others left. Could that really have such an impact? What did the PR department head say? He should be here soon. Excuse me. Oh, Saito. What's the situation in PR? What's happened since Sato left? Here it is. This is the current promotion strategy? Nothing seems different at first glance. Well, actually, I'm not entirely sure what's wrong either, but... One thing's for sure. The effectiveness of our commercials has clearly plummeted. What? Really? Yes, it's steadily declining. Why didn't you report this sooner? W what should we do? Should we reach out to Sato and the others again? <laughs> There's no way we can do something so humiliating. Why don't we consult with external PR agencies for now? Yes, I'll start recruiting immediately. One month later. S Suga, Saito, we've got a report from the external consultants. What? What did they say? Apparently, the new employees have been focusing solely on PR efforts. But they haven't been collecting consumer data along with that. They need to develop strategies based on user behavior analysis. L let's skip the complicated stuff. What's the bottom line? If we outsource the PR work, this situation should improve. Oh. It seems Sato and his team were highly valuable. But it looks like we can find suitable replacements, so... There shouldn't be any more issues moving forward. Good. Six months later. Meanwhile, we started our own company with our former colleagues. A company specializing in digital marketing. We've got another new request. This one's a big project. The requests are gradually increasing. It's exciting. Oh, is that another new job? Hello? C can you help us? What? We outsourced the marketing, 
but the costs are piling up without any results. Honestly, we're at our wit's end. The president is aging by the day. Ah, uh, well, that's how it goes. Compatibility with the agency is also a factor after all. And since marketing is an intangible service, sometimes you can get tricked. R really? Suzuki here. Our company is doing well, and we're not coming back, so goodbye. W wait, hold on. They, they hung up. H how am I supposed to explain this to the shareholders? I can't bear to see the president in such a weakened state. So, as you can see, since the IPO, our company's sales have been on a steady decline. But there are definitely signs of improvement. We have some groundbreaking products on the horizon. This is so awkward. I can feel the silent anger and dissatisfaction. May I say something? Even with groundbreaking products, the yen is strong right now. Won't that just drive up development costs? Even if those products sell, it wouldn't be a revenue driver, would it? S Sato? You're, you're a shareholder? And one more thing. I heard the company is struggling in the PR department. Isn't that because you let go of skilled contract employees? It were crucial to your success. Isn't it also the poor internal communication where the founders reap all the benefits? That's leading to this decline. Why are they here? Did they come just to complain? What, what stubborn people. The room is buzzing now. So you didn't disclose to the shareholders? The significant impact caused by the departure of the contractors? No, that's not true. We did disclose it properly. We just didn't emphasize that they were key assets. Please explain how you plan to address this moving forward. Please. Well, we're going to quickly secure more elite PR personnel. We'll actively continue developing our products to ensure they become a big hit. Alright, let's quickly sell off this stock. This company only seems to be heading towards more uncertainty. Uh, I can't believe those guys were there. This is practically an obstruction of business. I'm going to consult with a lawyer. Indeed. Gentlemen, our savior has arrived. Nice to meet you. My name is Onodora. N nice to meet you. He was a senior manager in the advertising department of a major corporation. He's had particular success in digital marketing. Wh what I heard about the shareholders meeting. It must have been a tough situation. I'd like to offer my assistance if I can. That, that would be great. But why did you leave such a big company to come here? I wasn't able to do the kind of work I truly wanted to do. Honestly, I'm not interested in working on finished projects. I just want to help those in need, that's all. Oh, Onodera. Oh I've already grasped most of the situation. I believe I can deliver the same quality that my predecessor Sato did. Now, let's revive this company together. Oh, we're counting on you. However, there is one condition. Could you grant me a significant position within the company? Whoa. I've heard that being a contractor contributed to the current situation. I believe the company needs to take a bold step and integrate external expertise. What do you say? We can't afford to repeat the same mistakes again. Oh, Nodera, I'm entrusting you with not just the PR department, but the fate of this company. <laughs> Save us. From now on, it's not about seniority. Understood. Leave it to me. One year later. Hey, G. What's for lunch? Hey, don't be so casual. What if someone sees us? Oh, come on. Huh? That person? Kijima? Oh, Sato. Your company has grown so much. I heard about it. Your company was taken over, wasn't it? Yeah, by a man named Onodera. 
We, the founders, have essentially become redundant. The shareholders lost trust in us after that meeting and started favoring Onodura instead. It all happened before we knew it. His generosity was all a sham, only joining us to exploit the potential of our products. That's unfortunate. Unfortunate? <laughs> it's your fault for what you did at that shareholders meeting. Your actions made us desperate to rely on anyone. No, you're wrong. You still don't get it at all. You and your team only wanted people who were convenient for you to use. And this time, you were just as conveniently used. Maybe now you'll finally understand how we felt. When we were betrayed after five years of hard work. Ugh. Even if I understand now, there's nothing I can do to get it all back. It'll be a learning experience for the future. Life is long, you'll find another way. After that, Kijima left the company. Both the former president and Suga stayed on, but were never given any important work. The two of them clung to their past glory, spending their lives lingering in regret. You can still turn things around. As for me, I heard Kijima later became a counselor for tired, burnt-out workers. But it seems that the job itself can be exhausting for him at times. Meanwhile, finally, we're going public. Let's make sure we don't end up like those who taught us what not to do. No way. I've got Yui by my side, and we've got a great team. Thanks for watching until the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.